Okay. Today, oh, we're gonna watch. We're gonna do some Birch Box! And I have a bonus Birch Box. It's not really Birch Box Man, but for some reason, whenever I order from Birch Box, they always send it in this big blue Birch Box Man box. But this one, and actually, we'll open this one first just to get it out the way because I know exactly what's in here. And I'm really excited about it. So. The, was it my very first, oh, I'm shaking the camera, sorry about that. Um, my very, I'm pretty sure it was my very first month. Either my first or like second month using Birchbox. Um, they sent me a leave-in conditioner slash uh, like detangling slash deep frizzing spray. And I fell in love. It is from the... I think the brand is just called Beauty, something like that. And they, this past week, a couple weeks ago, sent an email that all of that brand was 25% off. So, I snagged me another one. This will be my second full size that I've ordered. Um, yeah, Beauty Protector is the brand. Um, this is the Red Bottle Protect and Detangle. I love this. Love, love, love. It is like... 22 or $23 a bottle. But for me, where I only wash my hair once or twice a week, like this lasts forever. Like literally I got a sample of this in my very, like like literally was the first or second birch box that I ever got like at least six months ago. And this is only my second bottle. And I only ordered this because they were on sale. I still have like the majority of the first bottle that I ordered. And I just saw the sale and went, yeah! So, you know, but I absolutely love this. And you can order from Birchbox even if you're not a Birchbox subscriber. So if you are needing something to defrizz your hair, this is the bomb. Um, I've tried some other ones before, some of the ones that I've gotten like in boxes and I had bought some, I think it was L'Oreal when I originally started trying to like not wash my hair so often was having some major frizz issues because dry shampoo does make my hair extra frizzy. And I do still have some like frizz issues when I'm using this, but they are so much better. It is so reduced. Like it's crazy the difference that this one product makes in my hair. It's so much easier to brush and comb through. I do not use it on my roots because I do have naturally oily hair and this will make it feel grazier. Um, but I do use it like from here down. <laughs> and just like a few spritz, like I just, I go like this number, and then this number, and I do the back, like just a couple of spritzes all over and it works fantastic. So this is one of my ride or dies right now. So, and I just spent like three minutes talking about it, but that's okay. And that's all that's in that box. So. All right, birch box, open. Ooh, pretty. I just smacked myself in the face with that box too. Cause I got excited. This is cute. That's very pretty and springy and looks nothing about how it looks outside because it's snowing and I'm mad. Not happy about the weather today. It is like 30 degrees and white stuff is falling from the sky. Not happy about it. And ooh, this month is Feed Your Mind, Body, and Soul. All right, well, let's do this first, I guess. This is the Bad Gal Bane Mascara that is brand new from Benefit. It was not a cruelty-free brand. And this is supposed to be like the bomb mascara, but I've seen the wand and I don't know that I'm gonna like it. So I will try this out, but it's probably gonna go to the Bessie because I do not like these tiny rubbery wands. I just, I prefer a big fluffy wand. That is just my preference, but I don't know. We'll see. I haven't really seen a whole lot of people review this. So, um, I saw, I think Jen Loves Reviews did one on it. Um, 
and I think she said they lengthened but not volumed pretty well. Um, that it wasn't like the perfect best ever mascara, but that it did kind of work. Uh, so I'll try it out. Like I said, I'm just not a fan of those tiny little wands. I normally get them everywhere when I try to use them. And then I got from Oribe a grandiose hair plumping mousse. So it's in like an aerosol. Okay, how am I supposed to be able to read the instructions? This is like the lightest writing on the dirt. Like, I do not even know how to use this. Oh, here we go. Shake it up. Nope, I don't know. I cannot read those. Well. Okay, well, it's definitely a mousse, and it smells like every other Orbe product that I've ever tried. So, I'll give that a shot. I'm not really using mousse or anything right now. Why did I get this all over my hands? That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. That came out really fast. <laughs> but their products do smell good. I just have not found anything of theirs that I just fell in love with enough to pay the price that you have to pay for Orbe. But we'll try it. And then I got... I don't know what I got. I'm going to have to take the plastic off to find out. Oh, Fill and Tame Brow Gel. So this is another brow gel. You guys that get subscription services feel like you get... Sometimes you get the same stuff. Like just from different brands. In like several of your boxes like there will be a month that's like all mascara day like mascara month or there will be a month that's like eyeliner month and you get an eyeliner in every single box you get i feel like that sometimes this is from butanic beauty and they have a cruelty free bunny yes. and orbe is cruelty free so that's good and I can't tell. It says Nourishing Tinted Brow Gel. Oh, it's in black. Doesn't really smell like anything. Oh yeah, that might be a little dark for me, but that's gonna be more likely to work than the blonde that I got in my other box. So we'll give that a shot. And then I got a Bioderma Sensi Bio Eye Eye Contour Gel for sensitive skin. It anti puffiness, soothes, and moisturizes. Which puffiness is not necessarily my issue. It's definitely color that is my issue. But I'll give this a shot and see how it goes. And I think Bioderma. Is cruelty free. I know I've had one other product from theirs, but I cannot remember for sure. So as always, it'll all be down. All the cruelty free information will be down below if I can get that to show up. It's not going to. So there's that. And that feels, I don't know. I can't tell how much is in there, but I feel like there's not much. And then the last thing that I got is from Adis New York, a Koopa Q Butter Lip Balm. I do not have to pronounce that first word at all. And oh, I'm seeing bunnies. Nice. It's got the Leaping Bunny certification. So that's exciting. So I'm pretty sure if I'm right about the Bioderma, then everything except for the mascara was cruelty free in here. So that's exciting. I'm trying to figure out what shade this is. Ooh, it's a pink. It's got white in the center. I'm not sure. But you got a decent amount of product. So that's good. Oh, so it must just be... Yeah, it's very barely... I don't know if you can see that. Very barely, barely tinted pink. Ooh, I like rubbed it down. <laughs> Um, it doesn't really have any color to it, 
So it's just a lip balm, basically. It says a luxurious balm that moisturizes, hydrates, and soothes dry, chapped lips. Center core is infused with cold pressed cubic cow butter from the rainforest that is capable of attracting up to 240% more water to the lips. Phyto sterols heal, hydrate, and combat free radicals. This is vegan, cruelty free, and paraben free. Sweet. So that'll be cool to try. Excited about that. And that's everything in my birch box. And I don't think this is a terrible birch box. Like, this is almost an ounce, which is a pretty good size to get of Oribe in a box. And then we got a brand new, basically, mascara. Um, a pretty decent sized lip balm. A brow gel, which this is, uh, may not be full size, I don't know. I'll have to look this up and see. But brow gels don't come in humongous sizes to begin with anyway. And this is four, four milliliters, so. And then this tiny little thing of Bioderma um, eye cream. So that's not a terrible perch box at all. I'm pretty excited about that. But that's that, and I'll see you guys in the next one.